Well, despite more cloud cover yesterday compared to Wednesday, uh, we still were able to reach 90 degrees in some areas. And a little bit warmer than expected, uh, but didn't really feel like it because of the low humidity. And of course, we did have some showers and thunderstorms yesterday as well. Still ongoing as I'm recording this, so I'm not going to post any rainfall totals. But make sure to tune in to uh, Midday in Kansas and later on uh, for the evening newscast for updates on rainfall totals. In the meantime, we have uh, temperatures today much cooler because we will have those storms in the morning and then we'll see how much sun we actually do get and that could determine how warm we actually do get but we'll generally go with upper 70s to mid 80s across northeast Kansas and we'll see if we're able to get in a few spots in the upper 80s again if we're able to clear out quick enough for some sun but it's possible we still have the southerly wind today and then my biggest concern Overall, after this morning's activity, will be tomorrow, especially in the afternoon on the risk for severe weather. Of course, we're still monitoring the timing of the frontal boundary, and that is going to play a huge factor as far as how widespread the storms and severe weather potential is going to be. We're also keeping an eye on a very low chance that there could be some storms early in the morning as well that could hinder severe weather development later on in the day. But when it's all said and done, here's what I'm thinking. Of course, we have to deal with this morning's activity. But as that continues to push out of the area, we should generally be dry between this afternoon and Saturday morning. Can't completely rule out a few spots getting a brief shower thunderstorm here and there. Not going to completely go no chance of rain like I will generally on Sunday, maybe other than a little bit of drizzle in the morning. I think we're generally dry on Sunday, but the chance is very, very small between this afternoon and Saturday morning. Obviously concerned about Saturday afternoon, and of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on that. I do have it lower compared to Friday morning, but the impacts will be greater of whatever we do get Saturday afternoon because of that severe weather risk. So just something to be aware of. So let's look at Supercast. So I'll, I'll show you a couple of model runs here so you get an idea of our confidence levels of what we have to deal with for the uh, next two days. So the uh, showers and thunderstorms, you can see a lot of it with this model is going to be out of the area by 8 o'clock uh, compared to what it would be from overnight. And uh, we'll see most of the storms, mainly east of Highway 75. According to this model, we also noticed that by this afternoon, we're fairly dry. Again, maybe actually sneaking in some sun as the clouds clear out from south to north. And so good news there uh, for any Friday evening plans. Saturday, this model has us dry. Keep that in mind because I'm going to show you another computer model's opinion and a little bit different than what this is showing. Still showing us dry through four, maybe starting to get a few showers, starting to see some green here and there. And then we do start to get into some pop-up storms close to sunset. So seven o'clock and continuing into the evening hours. That's going to be something to watch for because if storms end up developing during that time frame, they may not be to the severe weather potential that they could be as compared to if they developed earlier in the afternoon. That's going to be something to watch for. As far as rainfall totals are concerned, through 10 o'clock Saturday, you'll notice that some areas will get very little, if anything at all, and some areas could get some locally heavy rainfall. So that's going to be something to watch for. In the meantime, here's another computer model showing that uh, we are dealing with those showers and thunderstorms uh, this morning and then uh, maybe a little bit in the early afternoon hours, but it certainly as the afternoon progresses, drier conditions, getting a lot more sun shortly before sunset tonight compared to that first one. So it'll be something to watch out for. Bottom line is it will be dry, just a matter of how much clouds to linger. In the meantime, here is the model that's indicating some spotty showers and possible thunderstorms Saturday morning. So that'll be something to watch out for. But as we go throughout the day, you'll notice that the storms are mainly in Missouri, a little bit in southeastern Kansas. Even with those storms, we do get that second round almost in the same areas, well, a little bit farther to the west, but in southeastern Kansas by 2.30. So out of our area, we might get a little bit of it starting to back build into our area about 6 o'clock, but not a lot. But it is showing at least something, especially for our eastern communities. And that looks like the main takeaway is it's mainly going to be for our eastern communities that will hold the best opportunity for rain. You can see by Sunday we're completely dry and sunny, so no problems there, especially for the Chiefs game. So no problems for uh, tonight's games. Maybe an isolated shower thunderstorm. Probably going to be dry. But Saturday afternoon, I'm most concerned about all the uh, college games. I'm most concerned about the KU game. That's what I'm most concerned about because that's the farthest to the east. But uh, we will monitor the Washburn and Emporia State game that begin at 1. 
maybe some storms popping up towards the end of the game. Otherwise, just to give you an idea of what uh, some of the other computer models are indicating, this includes what has come through from overnight as well. But you get the idea that hopefully, hopefully we can get some meaningful rainfall for everyone. Uh, over the course of obviously from last night into this morning's round even yesterday afternoon and of course into saturday's saturday night's round so once we get past today and tomorrow and tomorrow night storm chance we're dry for the rest of the eight day forecast period i did take next week's storm chance out doesn't look to be a great chance for rain during that time i did want to uh show you what october's outlook is indicating as the Climate prediction center released its outlook yesterday we have equal chances of below normal temperatures and above normal temperatures and what are the normal conditions for october so that's good news. We definitely need the rain. Hopefully we can get some much needed rainfall heading into these next couple days, which may end up being our final opportunities for the month of September. But obviously we'll continue to keep an eye on low chances, low confidence and low chances of uh, possible rain next week as well. But all in all, temperatures remain fairly steady. Lows in the 50s to near 60 and highs generally in the mid 80s. Have a great day, stay weather aware, and make sure to check back for tomorrow morning's forecast to get the latest on what to expect for the second half of the day.